up everybody it's Stefan here from mod the fame and we are back with another video that's right man you see it we ain't cheapo kitty but you saw the title and thumbnail so you know we got some bad news no this video is not clickbait yes this really happened and i'm on my way to go get it fixed anyway let's jump into it let's go all right so there's a couple hints of what's going on with cheapo man uh the first hint no, it's not the check engine light. The check engine light is because uh, the, it's no cats right now, and I haven't gotten a tune yet to tune out the uh, the no cats. This is a hint of what's going on. Um, I'm, pr I'm surprised a lot of you didn't see it in the last video, but Cheapo Kitty had on a, a factory wheel in the back. Uh, that factory wheel was because something happened to my Verde wheel that I have. And the Verde wheels have been absolutely great. And I would say it is actually one of the reasons why what I'm about to tell you is not as bad as what it is. But for right now, let's take a little break, uh, downshift and see what's up. outside it's a little cold outside so i'm pretty sure you guys heard between shifts a little bit of gear grind yeah that that's because um i noticed that when it's like real cold outside and my transmission's not fully warmed up it the synchros kind of grind a little bit between gear shifts so but everything is fine otherwise one more pull ah, sure why not cheapo that's not why i'm saying oh my god my hellcat is destroyed <laughs> Ooh. all right no more stalling i'm gonna show y'all what's going on as you can see cheapo kitty looking really good man y'all know that we made that video that we had just finished the car and it was looking all pretty and stuff so in the last video i shouted out american muscle right and i showed it to you on my back fender but the way that i shot it was hiding something and as you can see, the wheel, the wheel is not the same as my Verde wheel. That's my factory wheel. So something I got to show you guys, if you notice the fender flare is not there, it's gone. And that's because underneath the American muscle sign, my kitty got backed into, bro. The kitty got backed into by a random car. Nothing like malicious, nothing crazy. But, you know, accidents happen. So in that, that big ass dent is there. It broke my fender flare. So the fender flare had to get a new one. Shout to Phillips Performance because they sent me a new fender flare. But what made the damage not as bad was the fact that the rear wheel, my rear Verde wheel took the shot and it freaking broke the wheel. It was crazy the way it broke the wheel. So there's a dent here. And there's a big one here, right? But no paint is broken. No paint is missing. So I'm taking a car right now to get fixed. We can't have Cheapo Kitty looking like this, man. So the, our solution is I don't want to paint the car. The car right now is 100% factory paint with the exception of the front bumper and the accents that I did, like I painted the bottom moldings and stuff like that. So it looks a lot nicer. I also painted the rear diffuser, which I showed you guys already. But the goal is 
to use paintless dent removal to get this out. If paint dentless removal can do the job, then we in business, man. So bad, very sad news here for Cheapo. Mechanically, she's fine. It's just this thing right here, this aesthetic, this dent that is driving me absolutely nuts. I had all the suspension components checked. When I did, it turns out that a couple of the control arms actually got bent. So I had to have those replaced. So all control arms is replaced. The suspension components are completely fine. I'm gonna tell y'all more about the suspension components later and how I got that done. This right now is just telling you what happened to Cheapo Kitty. I'm gonna tell you in a future video or probably the next video or so, what I had to do to get it fixed and all that was wrong with it. But for right now, come on, let's go take it, drop it off to get it fixed. All right, so here we are dropping the car off. Y'all see these little blue tape marks? A couple little things happen too, man. Just from using the car, the car being so low, like I pulled the bumper down there. If you notice, the bumpers pulled down. So there's a little space that we gotta attach the lip back. It came down some. I wanna touch up in some of those areas a little bit. And obviously the dents, we gotta get the dents out obviously and who better to do it than your boy <laughs> always always so pro performance man y'all do dent removal too paintless dent removal full body work wheel refinishing uh any type of ride quality control issues we take care of okay Pretty much everything all right cool so there you go man pro performance about to get on the job man to get this done for me and that's that's it man we, we about to make it happen all right peace look I'm not that afraid, I'm not that worried. It could have been way worse. Like I said in the next video, I'm gonna break down exactly what was wrong, like in a step-by-step -step, um, with the car and how we you know, corrected it and fixed it. But don't worry, Cheapo Kitty is still gonna be amazing and ready for the 2019 Cheapo Kitty hit list. We still doing that. The dudes that we are gonna take down this year we gonna win some, we gonna lose some, but either way, you guys are gonna come on a journey with us as we do each of it. You also gonna come with us on the journey to 800 wheel horsepower. That's still happening right now too. In addition to that, man, you guys are gonna come with us as we work on more project cars and we do track days as well. So this year is just gonna be absolutely crazy. Absolutely, as a young folk say, lit. And, uh, but I'm about to jump into this fool. So anyway, if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss no more videos. But until the next one, it's your boy Stephen here from Monty Fame. And here about to tear down this burger. <laughs> we out. We out.